watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Allison Payne, Steve Sanders, and Tom Skilling. This is WGN Midday News. Next, we're talking to a nutrition specialist who says it is possible to look and feel your best without dieting. Mm. Imagine not having to diet ever again, eating what you want to eat, but never being hungry. Robert Ferguson is the author of Diet Free for Life. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us because if this works, it would just be fabulous for everyone. We have a plethora of foods here right now, most of which do not look like diet foods. I saw you bring in the McDonald's mm, bag, so I know right. one of these came from McDonald's. <laughs> We've got fried chicken, and you say we can eat it. We can eat it. So there's no reason to deprive yourself or to experience things like restrictions when it comes to food. What we want to do is really learn how to use food in a way that's going to help crank up our metabolism so we can drop the pounds, increase the mood, and just improve all areas of our life. And one of the things you talk about is balancing foods that are going to keep you burning fat all day long. Exactly. So it's about sort of the slow and the fast fats. Right. So if you looked at this plate, for instance, you would see that we have some drumsticks. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's our protein. And then I have some macaroni salad, which is our what I call a fast carb. Okay, which is not a bad thing, it's just a fast carb. And then we have slow carbs. Well, when you combine the foods like this, you actually keep your blood sugar levels from going too high and from dropping too low, which means you're maximizing the fat burning experience, eating great food. Now, one of the things people typically avoid when they're dieting are what you're calling these slow carbs. It looks like your microphone is uh -oh. not working here, so we're gonna try to replace that quickly while, you're, uh, okay. while we're talking. <laughs> but one of the things that people typically avoid are Carbohydrates. Right. I can't have them. They're going to make me gain too much weight. If I cut these out and only eat the protein, then I'm going to lose. Right. Well, carbs are our friend. The key is to learn how to eat them in the right way. So if you combine, say, your carbs with fat, you know, you've heard of the glycemic index. Yes. So the glycemic index, for instance, if you look at potatoes, they're given a very high number, like 95. But potato chips are given 55. So if this is my potato chips. We know that potatoes have more nourishment. However, why is it that our blood sugar is not impacted negatively when we eat chips? It's because of the fat woven inside of the chips. So we add butter to our potato. You with me? Yeah, I'm with okay. you. And again, most people would go, butter, no, no, that's not a right. diet so, food. And we're not talking about a big bars of butter. We're talking about like a tablespoon, an uh, egg yolk. So if I had an egg yolk size of uh, you know, butter on my sour, on my potato, then now I'm going to get the blood sugar impact of the potato chips, which means I'm eating what I want to eat and I'm able to burn some body fat. Right. Now, one of the things, again, if you're on a diet, people say, oh boy, avoid those big Starbucks drinks. They have a ton of sugar in them and, and they're high in calories. Well, they're not high in calories. I mean, each one of these drinks are less than 300 calories. And so if you're on the go and you're running around, you want to be fueling your body. Okay. So if you went over and got a Starbucks Vivano, it's a smoothie, I ask people to ask for an extra scoop of protein. And if you get the extra protein powder, now it's going to take you into what I call a fat burning zone of at least 300 calories. So I could drink this, having a good time on my bike, walking around, right. and know that I'm actually maximizing fat burning. Again, it's about the balance and sort of adding the protein. You also have some protein bars here. Yeah, we brought some snacks. So I went by a local convenience store and said, okay, what if I need a snack and I'm freaking out and I want to keep my blood sugar levels in a nice, healthy fat burning zone? I walked right in and boom, you had cliff bars, which are Available like all over the world. Sure. Uh, and then I grab some crackers. Each one of these snacks are fat burning snacks. And then you have your glass of vino with some chocolate. And guess what? The fat doesn't come back. Yeah, and I think that's the interesting <laughs> thing because people think that if you have to stop at a fast food restaurant, if you have to stop at a convenience store to pick up something, that there's nothing in there that's going to help you stick with your diet and, and keep your levels in such a way that you are burning that fat. And that's untrue. So whether it's fast food or fast dining, okay, or food dining, we can eat the foods we want and we just need to combine them in a way where we can live diet free. Drop the pounds and keep them off for a lifetime. And, and clearly that includes about. some exercise as well. Well, exercise is helpful, but we, let's start with food. And as you increase or improve your mood, then you'll want to exercise. But if you feel horrible, then the last thing you want to do is go for a walk or start exercising, right? So, so we want to start where we are. Right. 
the science of it seems a little bit complicated. I know you're just saying, you know, combining the proteins and the, and the good carbs, the slow and the fat. Do you have in the book sort of a way that people can do sample diets oh, there? Oh, 100%. I give you like seven examples for how you could start your day off with breakfast. Seven snacks in the morning, seven lunches, seven afternoon snacks. I basically give you the plan so you can start walking it out as you go through that learning curve and get the knowledge. So then once you've experienced it and you're not depriving yourself, who can say that it doesn't work? Because it does. And the idea seems like one everyone would want to follow. Who wants to deprive themselves? I know there are some folks here who were on the low carb diet and saying, I, I just feel grumpy. No I don't carb. feel happy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're saying you don't have to deprive no. yourself, but you can still be healthy. Those days are over. Okay, diets, like traditional diets, are done. It's now to have some fun. So my goal is to show you how to reduce your waistline and expand your lifeline. That means enjoy life, man. Everything begins in the kitchen. So why not learn how to use food in a way that's going to help us feel better as well as reduce our waistline and upgrade all other areas of wellness. That's well, what it's all about. This is going to be the new Bible for a lot of dieters here. So Robert Ferguson, thank, oh, thank you so you. much. Thank you. I love the concept. To learn more about the health plan, check out the website dietfreeforlife.com. If you can't remember that, we will link you right there. Log on to WGNTV.com slash midday.